Hi everyone! Welcome to another Stitches and Scribbles video. My name is Erin and today I am getting ready for my first craft fair of the craft fair season. Um, my first fair is going to be at the end of May this year and I'm really excited to get started. I also have some new products that I want to test out this year as well as some old products that I'm bringing back but I figured I'd take you along with me to see the process and film some tutorials. So over the next couple weeks you'll get like a little mini bonus tutorial of something that I'm um, selling at my craft fairs this year so that you can add it to your own collection or just make it for yourself. Um, I just figured it was a great way to start off the late spring summer kind of craft fair DIY season. Um, so today my general plan as you can see I am in my basement which is not where I usually film, but that is where all of my craft stuff is stored as well as any like crafting equipment that doesn't really fit upstairs in the bedroom. Um, but my goal for today is mostly to work with my Addy knitting machine. This is the smaller one. I forget what the official name is, but it's the one that has it's either 22 or 24 pins, um, but it works the same way as the smaller Centro model. Um, I do think that Addy is a good investment if you make stuff with knitting machines a lot, um, but you could do this on either one. Today I'm going to be making some soap savers, which if you haven't seen those floating around the craft fair crafting sphere before, um, they're little bags made with either cotton or scrubby yarn that actually hold the bar of soap and function as the washcloth so that you don't lose the ends of your soap. I really like the scrubby yarn for that. This is the Red Heart Scrubby Sparkle yarn is what I'm going to be working with today. Um, I really like the scrubby material ones because they lather better and they dry better, but you could also totally do this with any old cotton yarn that's meant for like dishcloths and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to be making some of those on my Addy today. I also have all of these little tiny flower pots and I don't think I've ever shown these in a video and I don't have any of my like pre-made ones to show in this clip but I experimented with making a little knitted cactus with a tiny flower on top so I'm going to be using the, these pots to make some more of those and then hopefully tomorrow I can get to some other products or maybe even later today this might be a multi-day video we'll just see kind of how far I get but yeah, the plan for today is to listen to some podcasts and audiobooks and just do some crafts. It's now day two of my craft fair prep day. I did not get as many clips for you yesterday as I wanted to as my camera is about to tip over um, because I was working really hard on the tutorials for you. So I know that there are going to be at least two coming out for you as of this point. One of them is for the soap saver bags. Really cute, really easy. And the other one is for these cute little cactus pots. I love these. I also think they'd be super cute pin cushions if you're into sewing. But the plan for today is to make... I'm probably good on soap savers. I don't think I need any more because I had a bunch from previous craft fairs. So I think I'm good on those, but I am going to make some more little cactus emigurumis stuffed animals. They're not animals. The little cactus things. 
um, and then hopefully get to some earrings and maybe some dust mittens today and maybe do the tutorials for those too, but we'll see. We'll also see how long my camera battery lasts before getting into those.
All right, so I just spent about two hours making a bunch of little cactus guys. I ended up making nine total, including the two I made yesterday to film the tutorial. I, I'll say this in the tutorial video too, but that won't come out for a while. I priced these at around $15, so I easily could have made 10 in the two hour span that I worked on those, um, especially if I wasn't filming. So that is a pretty good price point for me. And I think they turned out super cute. It'd be really fun to see like other color combos and stuff too. Um, next on my list is working on earrings. So I actually just filmed the tutorial and made a bunch of simple ones, but I think I want to try doing some crochet earrings. So I'll kind of show you like what I did. Um, the first type of earrings I made are these little teeny tiny flower ones and those are in a tutorial already. Um, not one that's already out when you're seeing this, it'll be one that's upcoming. And then I also showed how to do ones with beads. So I have these little teeny silver bumblebees. I actually made myself a pair of these maybe sometime last year and I wear them all the time so I really like the little bumblebee design. Um, so I made like 10 sets each of those but I also just experimented with crocheting tiny granny squares. I think these are so cute. Tiny granny squares, I made them with embroidery floss because I have a bunch from when my mom used to do cross stitch and from when I used to make friendship bracelets like in high school. For some reason still have that. Um, so I think I'm gonna make some more of these. I know that like 70s inspired stuff is supposedly having a moment right now um, and these definitely fit into that category. So I'm gonna make some more tiny granny squares. I actually love this color combination. Orange is usually not my thing, but I think these are cute. Um, and these I think are also gonna end up being a tutorial because they were pretty easy to do. So I think I'm actually gonna move back upstairs to my desk to work on those so that it's a little quieter without all the pipes and stuff and go ahead and film that tutorial. Hey, there's a dog outside. Hi again, um, do I just wait for him to stop? We're gonna be here a while. All right, we'll try this again. So it is actually day three of my craft fair prep. Um, I spent most of the day today actually uploading the tutorials that I filmed for you all yesterday. So you will get five bonus videos for the month of June coming out on Wednesdays. You'll get a tutorial for the knitting machine cactuses that I showed you, the soap savers, beaded earrings, granny square earrings, and crocheted daisy chain earrings. My neighbor's dog must see something, but we're going to keep going. Um, I did not end up filming a tutorial for the dust mitten yet, but if you'd like one, leave a comment below. I'd still be happy to do one. I just didn't get to it during the course of this video filming, but I figured I'd show you what I was talking about. So this is a dust mitten. It's made with blanket yarn. You slide it on your hand and you can use it to dust off surfaces. Um, I found that my soap savers do pretty well at craft fair, so I wanted something that was kind of in the cleaning category to go with it, and that's what I landed on. I'd probably price these at $15, um, even though they take a while to make. I'm probably not going to make a ton of them and I want them to still be reasonable. Um, and since it is chunky yarn, it doesn't take too long. I can definitely do one in under an hour if I'm focused on it. Um, but I think these are really neat and I use mine a lot so I figured I'd show you what that was. And I think that's going to be it for this video. I know this was kind of a random one and some of my process you didn't get to see. Oh. Actually, before we're done, um, I'll show you some of the earrings I made this morning while I was waiting for video clips to upload. So you'll see this pair of granny square earrings in the tutorial version that will come out in a couple weeks um, with the pinks and purples. This was the test pair I made in yellow and orange. 
and then I actually made a pair for myself to wear to the craft fair but the ones for me are these green and gray pair and then I also made one with shades of brown pink and like burgundy purple ish and then the daisy chain earrings that you'll see in a tutorial are these little guys little crochet ones I used the same flower from my cactus tutorial um, but yeah that's going to be kind of it for craft fair items that I'm working on this week since it is now Friday and I've put in a lot of hours into working on craft fair between making the actual items and working on videos for you guys so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, let me know if you have any questions about craft fairs in the comments below. If you're interested in following me on other forms of social media, all that information will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!